just don't like the idea of having to clean it. It's all those spokes and that. Exactly. <laughs> right, cheers, right, buddy. Thanks, Troy. Fucking don't know about you can't talk. You know what to say. Fuck me, hey? dead. <laughs> what? <Bloody. laughs> all right. Morning all, it's the 29th of December. Um, there's about four of us that decided to go on a bit of an impromptu ride. Uh, we're going out towards uh, Tan Gambalanga, all the way through to Grenier Gap. We're doing a bit of a recon for an upcoming ride that we're doing um, later on in the year. So a few of us decided to jump on board and um, go for a bit of a scoot. In this video, we're also going to see uh, a new bike that's been brought by one of our road captains, which is Simo, and we'll go over that a little bit later on in the video, but uh, stay tuned, it's um, a little bit different to what he's told me that he was going to get it uh, a month or so ago, so yeah, it's pretty, pretty cool. So on this ride on today, we've got Mark, who is our assistant director and head road captain for the Twin City chapter. We've got Nathan who's come along to see what we're all up to. And here's Simo, just enjoying his new beast. Look at him go. Cheers Simo. We're just coming through a little town called Tan Gambalanga. Uh, it's, it's, yeah, one of these towns that's out around the Hume. It's a beautiful little town. Love coming through this place. A bit later on, there's going to be a couple of little interviews. Uh, one, as I said, with Simo about his new his new ride, and the other one will be with myself and Mark, who is our road captain. So stay tuned for that. The riding in this area is always fantastic with the twisties, and then you've got the scenery to go with it. Just absolutely amazing. Okay, we'll pull over and see what it is. Doesn't look good. Got a spanner. Yeah, what do you need? Oh, my blinkers come loose. Yeah, what size? Simo's blinkers. We're cruising into Estale to see if the pub's open. Inevitably it wasn't, uh, so we decided to move on. Side the Hume Dam, so close to the road, 
I uh, just feel privileged uh, to be able to ride in this area. It's fantastic, absolutely great. Just had a quick stop at one of the many lookouts uh, in this area. Was going to put the drone up, but it uh, come up fairly windy, so they kind of thwarted that idea. Anyway, onward. Very, very busy. I've never seen it this busy, uh, but it does get this way, I guess, during the school holidays and uh, so close to Christmas. G'day everyone, I'm here with Jeff Simpson. Uh, Simo is uh, one of our newly appointed uh, road captains, probably for la oh, over a month now, I guess, we are appointed Simo. Um, he's looking forward to leading these rides. He reckons today's ride was um, a practice run. Now we've only been lost about four or five times, so it's not too bad. Off to uh, a good start. We're off to a really good start. Um, but what I've got Simo here for is to talk about his Baja Orange 117 breakout. Tell us how you come about to, because last time we were talking, mate, you are looking at getting a tourer. Yep. yep. And you've totally gone the other way. It, it got a soft tail, a, a bright Jaffa coloured one at that. Um, <clears throat> right out of the, I don't know, completely didn't even think about it at the time, but always liked the style of the breakout. Um, easy to put your feet on the ground, lighter weight. Um, oh, and Simo is only about four foot eight. So we'll no, just... yeah, okay. <clears throat> Give or take an inch or two. <laughs> um, yeah, look, it was just, um, I was looking for a, more of a, a road road bike, but I don't know, yeah, just feet, legs, a bit short. Um, this is a great, great bike. I mean, I've been on it today for a couple of hundred Ks and uh, very impressed, very comfortable. Um, far better bike than what I was led to believe to ride. So uh, apart from the colour, I think it's just got that colour because it's a different, different look. I think mean, you'll probably see more of them there, maybe. I don't know. Oh, so you're you got you're going to be on video and you're going to start calling yourself an influencer? Is, oh, that, well, is that what it's going to be? That's, 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 that's the whole <laughs> whole idea of it, isn't it? To promote these promote these motorbikes. Yeah. Yeah. As as people know, I I rode. If you'd watched my videos, I rode a street glide with the Baja Orange uh, at the track day we had earlier in the year. Um, not my cup of tea, but it actually grows on you, the, the colour. So, and, and what do you what do you like uh, about the 117? How do you find that? A bit of difference because you've you've got other bikes, yes. and we'll talk about that in a second. But the 117, how do you find uh, that? Yeah, great power, terrific, a lot more power than the other ones, and uh, yeah, and of course a bit more fuel to, to go along with that. But um, yeah, tremendous twisted throttle, and um, yeah, look out, it's terrific. Um, so, give us a rundown of what you got in your shed, mate. Um, well, I've got a, a sports glide. It's a 107. I also got a heritage what are you model? Uh, 21. Yep. And the heritage is a uh, 114, uh, 23 model. Both very nice bikes to ride. I think um, they're more comfortable to ride than actually the, the breakout. But um, that's just the style of the breakout. And the 21 inch front wheel. I think they got on there. Just it a is, different yeah. different rate. It's, it is. Um, yeah. yeah handles corners very well. I was very surprised how well it cornered actually. Mm -hmm. Not that I'm a terrific bike rider but um, for my standard of riding I, I found it uh, well, I found it very good yeah oh it's good um, so I can attest to the the ride of the heritage because that's what I mm -hmm, had before mm -hmm. and I know you just you were so desperate to copy me you went out and brought one that's right but, and that's you know, when you uh, got rid of yours yeah, uh, yeah so I knew you had one so I thought oh, I couldn't have one <laughs> no, as well no, no. so I had to get rid of it yeah so um, yeah so they, they are a great bike the heritage mm. um, they are comfortable everything they say they are yeah. um, 
Look, uh, all right, Timo, we'll leave it at that, but uh, thanks for your time, mate, and we'll look forward to seeing that bright orange bright flower orange, on the road. Bar, so. bar, bar, orange, standing in Bialik. The best thing about it, you can see on the road, too. <laughs> Everyone can see you coming. Don't worry about what's on it, just no. look at the bike. <laughs> Don't worry about what's on it, exactly. Right, oh, cheers, right, buddy. Thanks, Troy. All right, so I'm here with Mark. Mark's our uh, assistant director, and he's also our head road captain. Uh, Mark has been wanting to do this for a little while. And there's been a couple of developments over the last month um, that he wanted to quiz me on. So, uh, take it away, mate. Yeah, well, as you know, um, Box Harley Rumble's been with a chapter now probably for maybe 12 months, would it be? Round about, might be a little bit shorter period. So, um, we've just had a changeover at our uh, Christmas party as our uh, director had stepped down with other things going on in his life at the moment it was thrown into the air who's going to put their hands up to do this position as you know everyone know it's a the big responsibility taking on the role Le leading the chapter box's name had come up and he's approached and took on the role as officially as of our christmas party just in december so everyone welcomed him in as co of course and we've gone from there so just with on saying that box will be in term as such even though he's taken on the official role until our next AGM where it'll be officially voted in by all members of course, or stood down, but I'm, the way I'm thinking it'll all go forward. So I just wanted to ask you, what do you think on taking on the role when you're propositioned about it? When you ask me if I'd be interested, um, I ummed and ahed for what, about 10 seconds? Yeah. M maybe a bit longer and then I said I'd do it. I think I've got something to offer um, and something to give back to our chapter. I wanted to be a part of the chapter up at the top end. Um, not not to be the boss or anything like that. I, we, as, as we run with the hog chapter, we run, we've got the director, then we've got a primary committee, and then we've got a secondary committee that sits under that. Um, and all the people that are on our committees and new people are coming on, and they're a great bunch of people. And I, just to work with those people, like yourself, Mark, Joe, um, and everyone else, to grow this chapter, to mainly point out to everyone it's about having fun, enjoying your Harley Davidsons, enjoying the company um, of the people around you. Because we've got, we start off with one common interest, uh, but as I've witnessed in the, my time, you become close friends. Oh, um, yeah. And that's, that goes without a given, and that's that's a credit to everyone that's in the chapter. So yeah, that's and, and that's that was my thought process within that 10 seconds, yeah. about why I wanted to actually take it on. Yeah. I know when your name was getting thrown around and such, my my views were that it is really into the, the social side, plus the bike scene, obviously. But to move the chapter forward, so what were your thoughts on the direction of the chapter in the next 12 months? I'm I'm very happy with what I've seen in the progress from the time I started. Um, it was a bit slow those yeah. first probably six months up when I was there because we were always same people turning up on the road uh, on the rides. But since then, um, up until December, it's increased, I don't know, tenfold yes. uh, with, with the amount of people attending our rides. So my view looking forward is we want to grow the chapter to a point where we have all our positions filled yeah. with good quality people that want to um, give a hand and, and put their ideas forward. But just pre predominantly a vision of going on good rides enjoying the company enjoying the scenery enjoying everything about it yeah that's what i want to see from the chapter um and that's what's been happening so i know i said at the christmas party we don't have to change a lot no um we've had a couple of discussions since christmas about a couple of different things which has been fantastic but yeah we don't have to change a lot going forward because we're on a trajectory that that is looking really really good and really really healthy for our chapter yeah well, as you can see, just in the short time that we sort of got together, had the getting the ride committee going, so we've got two two more road captains now, yep. which helps out tremendously throughout all the rides, as you'd know. Yep. Um, we've got it with the secondary committee. We've got the Enzo doing a terrific job in the membership role. Yep. We've got uh, ladies of Harley officer Nat taking that role on, and we've got Rachel just taking on the activities officer. So that's a, that's a and that, that's what has been a little bit of a bane in our side, really, hasn't it, is the activities officer, because 
we know how important that role is. Oh, definitely. Um, it's so good that, that Rachel did come on, on board, and Rachel is the wife of Jay, who's one of the other road captains recently appointed. So, um, family affair, that's what we're all about. Yeah. You know, um, and it's, it's, just, it's just great to see these positions getting filled with good quality people. Definitely. So I think leading into the future, I think with you at the, at the helm, with your, the ideas you've got leading us forward, I, I can see us going, bigger and better hopefully not too big <laughs> yeah. we still maintain that family yeah. thing as what everyone does yep so yeah and i i hope for the same yeah i've got i've got some ideas and i know other people have got ideas and that's the beauty about the chapter bringing new people on board um they throw a few ideas here and there and then we put it all together and inevitably it all works yeah um because we have the people that care and uh want this chapter to, to succeed so Definitely. yeah all right, we'll leave it there. Thanks very much for your time. <laughs> Cheers, buddy. <laughs> After a great lunch at the Walwa Hotel, we're going to head back now, to, back through Holbrook, uh, drop me off, and the boys will continue down the highway back to Aubrey. Uh, it's been a great ride. Weather's held off. It's been fantastic. Coming into Holbrook now. Uh, we're just a little bit further up. We're going to say our goodbyes, and the guys are going to take off, and I'm going to head home. Uh, thanks everyone for watching. If you like what you see, like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one. <laughs>